Imagine this, another success and it's time to toast your victory. But the celebrations are short-lived. You wake up the next day and your brain feels as if it's been trying to run a marathon through a field of cacti. Does this resonate with you? We all enjoy the proverbial toast, the clinking of glasses, the victory, the celebration. But what if that innocent glass of wine was an assault against your cognitive abilities, against your brain? startling isn't it and you are the pro for decision making but alcohol is slowly blunting that edge that you have over the competition over the crowd this video is a wake-up call to the elephant in the room and that elephant is alcohol strap yourself in as we go on a journey to explore the hidden landscapes of your mind where alcohol might be setting up roadblocks that you never anticipated you know that warm, fuzzy feeling you get after a few drinks where you're feeling invincible, everything is hilarious? That's actually alcohol altering the balance of the neurotransmitters in your brain. It ramps up the effects of the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA and slows down another neurotransmitter called glutamate. This means that your brain activity is slowing down along with your cognition and response time. It's like trying to win a race with a heavy weight on your back. But hold on, we're just getting started. According to a recent study, chronic drinking can cause significant changes to the brain's physical structure, specifically in areas associated with learning and memory. Now you might be there going, I'm not a chronic drinker, but chronic drinking is classed as 14 drinks per week. It's as though your brain is a beautiful mansion and those 14 measures of alcohol alcohol are an unwanted guest and that guest is leaving the water running it's leaving the gas on it's leaving the stove on it's leaving the windows and doors open and it's causing long-term damage to your property but if you decide to show that guest the door and stop drinking your brain starts to regenerate it's almost like renovating that mansion step by step brain function related to learning and memory will improve and recover leading to faster reaction times and clearer thinking putting you ahead of the competition sharpening those tools of decision making so maybe you're not drinking those 14 measures a week i get it but maybe you are drinking seven measures per week that would be classed as moderate drinking and even moderate drinking has been shown to cause shrinkage in your brain's hippocampus the part that's crucial for memory and learning and it isn't just drinking on the day of you drinking and on the hangover it's for the medium to long term it's like trying to download the latest app on an out-of-date phone. You simply don't have the software to function at that level. This impacts your life more than you probably realize. Do you ever forget important details, struggle to make a decision, struggle to focus on the task in hand? This could be impacting everything from your performance at work to even following along with your favorite series on Netflix. I was speaking to a business owner the other day and he's starting his alcohol-free journey and he said after the first 10 days, he's feeling the brain fog lifting, he's making clearer decisions, he's not putting decisions off, he's facing them head on and he's seeing the results already in how he presents himself at work. His cognitive ability has already recovered and he's so excited about what that can mean for his, himself and his business going forward. And he was a normal binge drinker. He was having seven, eight drinks on a weekend, nothing out of the ordinary. And already he's feeling these cognitive abilities and cognitive benefits. It's incredible. Let's dive a little deeper. Alcohol isn't only affecting people's cognitive abilities. It's also impacting on mental health. There's a reason why so many songs feature pouring a drink to drown the sorrows. Alcohol really can provide that temporary relief, those 20 minutes where nothing really matters, that numbing. But in the medium to long term, it can really amplify those feelings of anxiety and depression. In fact, the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism has linked alcohol use with an increased risk of developing these mental health disorders. It's like finding a tree to shelter under during a thunderstorm to only realize the tree is attracting the lightning strikes. The temporary relief feels good, but the medium to long-term consequences can be shocking, literally. <laughs> Ever woken up after a night out and your brain feels like it's wrapped in cotton wool? That's anxiety. A nasty cocktail of anxiety and low mood that always follows drinking. This is because when you're drinking alcohol, it really messes with your neurotransmitters. And when the alcohol wears off, you're left with a brain that's completely out of balance. It's like that bleak feeling when the party, the barbecue is over, 
and you're the only person who's on cleanup duty. Except the party is in your brain and the cleanup involves your mental well-being. I was talking to a guy the other day and he was telling me he'd just gone through a divorce process, wasn't necessarily his decision, but while he was going through that process, he started to have crippling, crippling anxiety, like debilitating, panic attacks two or three a month, really impacting his life. And he said he noticed the only other thing that changed during that period was that he started to drink more alcohol to help process the divorce and to help get through the situation. We've all been there, right? Like we go through a difficult breakup, we rely on alcohol to try and get us through those lonely nights for the first few weeks. But this guy got himself in the situation where because he was drinking more, his anxiety was going up. So then he was drinking more to cope with that anxiety. And you can see we were just in that vicious cycle. Now this guy is three months alcohol free. He hasn't had a panic attack since he was drinking. And he says his everyday mood is just much better. It's more stable, it's higher. He feels positive and optimistic about his future. And he's accepted and dealt with that emotional difficulty of the divorce. And now he's looking forward to part two of his life. I just love how resilient our bodies and brains are. We can do whatever we want to do, but if we start to make changes, if we cut down our drinking, if we quit drinking, our bodies recover, our brains recover. It's never too late to make a change. And I just, oh, I love that. And it blows my mind. So just know if you're experiencing any of these negative effects of alcohol, you could try a 66 day challenge and see how you feel. Feel the impact of your brain chemistry slowly getting back to normal. Feel the impacts of your physical body getting back to normal and start to feel that superpower, that supercharge of being alcohol free. Have you ever made decisions while under the influence that you regretted the next day? Alcohol impairs our self-awareness. Creating a looking glass self. You might feel more elegant, more charming, more attractive while under the influence, but I assure you, it's just like looking in one of those funky mirrors in the circus. A study by the University of Missouri found that alcohol impairs your metacognition making it harder for you to assess your own actions and their consequences. Imagine standing center stage, you've got the spotlight on you, you're convinced you're an amazing performer, while the audience sees something quite different. This is what it's like when people are under their influence. They have no reality of what is actually happening. Quitting alcohol can really feel like stepping out of that distorted mirror and back into reality where you can properly assess your actions and their consequences, ultimately leading to better decision making. Have you ever found yourself pouring yourself a large glass of something when you're facing a difficult situation and you just don't really know what to do? This is so common, but it's worth noticing the most successful business people, the Warren Buffetts, they don't drink alcohol. And Warren has said that his success is largely due to his lifestyle. Because he's not drinking alcohol, he's not using escapism in that way. When there's a difficult decision, he's making that decision. He's facing the challenge, he's being courageous. So alcohol really does kind of make you a bit of a wimp. It doesn't make you courageous, it does the opposite. But the good news is knowledge is power. Now that we understand the impact that alcohol is having on our brains, we can start to make more informed decisions. There are healthier ways to manage stress and to socialize that don't involve drinking. Old habits die hard, and you might have to reevaluate your own relationship with alcohol. But remember, every monumental change in our life starts with one decision. You're one decision away from changing your entire future. So if your cognitive abilities are important for you, for your life, for your future, I really recommend, why not go alcohol free for 66 days? Try it, see the benefits, have an experiment of one. If you don't like it, you can always go back and drink alcohol. It's okay, nothing is permanent in life. But you might just find that by quitting alcohol, you're opening up a whole new level, a whole new layer of your true potential. If you're interested in the alcohol-free lifestyle, check out all the resources below, all free, loads of stuff there. If you wanna have a conversation, jump into my DMs. I'll see you there. And until the next video, take care of yourself. Ciao, ciao.